factor the trinomial 6r squared, take away 28r plus 16. I'm going to use the factor the trinomial by grouping method, because uh, that's the method that most students seem to do best with. And the first thing you want to look at anytime you're factoring anything at all is try to take out a GCF. So for this we've got 6, 28, and 16, so all of these have a 2 as a common factor. So we're going to pull out the GCF of 2, and we're left with 3r squared, take away 14r, plus 8. Now we're going to go ahead and just pay attention to this right here and factor this trinomial. And when we're done, we'll just tack on the uh, 2 onto the outside and multiply it to the answer. Alright, so like I said, we're going to do factor by grouping method. And to do that, what you want to do is think about this as the general form of AR squared plus BR plus C. And to factor it, we want to look at the factors of A times C. And in this case, that would be 3 times 8 is 24. And the sign is really important. So it's the factors of positive 24 that we're going to look at. We want to find factors that sum to b, or the middle term, which in this case is negative 14. Again, the sign is really important. So let's start listing out factors of 24. So this is going to be our first step with the factor by grouping method. And what I usually do to not miss any possibilities, start with 1 times the number 24, or whatever you have there, and look at the sign. We need it to be um, adding up to a negative number, but it has to be factors of positive 24. Positive means same signs. Give it two negatives because we need it to add up to be a negative. All right, so we got 1 times 24, 2 times 12, both of them being negatives again, and you want to be looking to see what they add up to. This one adds up to minus 25. This one adds up to minus 14. Right there we've got it, so we stop. Now if that wasn't the right one, we would keep going. We'd say 3 times 8, minuses, and just keep going until you run out of possibilities. But as soon as you find the right one that gives you the sum you want, you stop there, and you take the two factors that worked, and we're going to rewrite the trinomial by splitting the middle term. And the middle term is going to split into the two pieces that we just found here. Minus 2 minus 12 gives us minus 14. So minus 2r minus 12r plus 8. Once you've done the rewrite, the third step is factor by grouping. So group these two together, and group these two together. So we get r times 3r minus 2. And we're going to take out a minus sign because we need the binomial to be a plus minus. Right now it's a minus plus. Take out a minus sign makes the sign switch to plus minus. And let's see, they both have a 4 times 3r minus 2. And then take out the common binomial factor of 3r take away 2, r minus 4, and this is factored. We just got to remember we've got that GCF from up at the top. Reinsert that into your final answer. So then that was a 2 up there, times 3r take away 2, r take away 4, and that's the final answer.